Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and here on my channel I make crystal and small business videos. So if that sounds interesting to you, be sure to subscribe because I put out new videos just about every week. I know I missed a week. I was doing so good before then, but I have this project I've been working on. It's been years in the making and I just got a sudden burst of motivation to really work on it and get it done. And that motivation rarely comes. So I just let myself hyper fixate on this one specific project. I'm sure I've mentioned it at least once somewhere, so if you know, you know, you probably don't. But hopefully I will be releasing a very big project this year that's been in the works for years, so that's where I've been this past week, really focusing on that. One more thing before we get into this crystal chat video is I just wanted to thank you guys for all of the comments, new subscribers, and lots of orders on my shop from YouTube specifically. So I just wanted to thank you guys. I do try to respond to most comments. Sometimes they really just escape me. Sometimes I get behind, I miss some, but a lot of you guys have been leaving really nice comments, messages, emails, notes and orders, and I've been getting a lot of new subscribers. So I just wanted to say thank you for all of that. If I don't get back to you in a message or a comment, just know I see you, I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. So let's get right into this crystal chat video. Today we're going to be talking all about kyanite. Kyanite is an aluminosilicate mineral formed mostly from the metamorphism of sedimentary rocks. Because of this, it is most often found in mountain ranges where extreme metamorphism has taken place. Kyanite is most commonly seen in blue. This is probably what you know it as, but it does come in other colors as well, like green or black. Here's some black kyanite and here's some blue and green kyanite mixed together. Less commonly, it can be found in other colors like clear, purple, or even orange. I actually do have a little piece of orange kyanite. It's pretty nice quality and gemmy. I got this from some shop in Sedona at the time. I didn't even know if orange kyanite was real or not. I just thought it was so cool. And it is real. Kyanite gets its blue color from titanium and iron impurities. Without any impurities, kyanite would be colorless. Some pieces of kyanite even have a color changing effect, but there'll be different colors in different types of lighting. Kyanite is part of the triclinic crystal system and is usually found in long blades with a splintery fracture and a pearly luster. Polished high quality kyanite often shows chatoyancy or a cat's eye effect. There's a lot of geologically interesting things about kyanite, one of which is that the hardness of the mineral actually changes depending on where you test it on the crystal. If you test the hardness parallel to the length of the crystal, it's going to be a 4.5 to 5 out of 10 on the most scale of hardness. So that means if you scratch it along the parallel long blades, but if you scratch it on the short end, it's going to be a lot harder with the hardness being around 6.5 to 7. Another name given to kyanite was the name disthene, which means two strengths to describe this unusual property that it has. This is called directional hardness and it is caused when the strength of the atomic bonds within the crystal structure are not equal in all directions. Kyanite has two polymorphs and polymorphs are minerals with the same chemical composition, but they have different structure, so they're different minerals. These polymorphs are andalusite and silimonite. Different minerals will form from the same elements under different pressure and temperature conditions. Kyanite forms at low temperature and high pressure, silimonite forms at higher temperatures, and andalusite forms at lower temperatures and lower pressure. Seeing one of these minerals in metamorphic rocks gives interesting information as to what the rock has undergone in its metamorphism. Kyanite has a heat resistant property and therefore it's used in a lot of industrial purposes to create heat resistant materials. Kyanite is often found in combination with rubies or garnets since these materials are also formed from metamorphism. You may be familiar with the material called ruby in kyanite. It is also found alongside many many other minerals such as quartz, micas, and pyrite. Kyanite is found all across the world but most commonly mined in India, Brazil, Nepal, United States, Switzerland, Argentina, and more. There's always a lot of conflicting information when it comes to the safety of crystals especially when it comes to water safety and what water safe crystals actually means. Kyanite is pretty water safe for a short period of time, but I wouldn't leave it soaking for a long period of time as this can damage or crack the stone or it can even cause it to start rusting. Contrary to what you might find on Google, it isn't going to just completely dissolve or release poison. As always, never drink any water that crystals, especially kyanite, have been soaking in as they may release elements into the water that you don't want to be consuming. However, a quick rinse is fine. Kyanite can be extremely dangerous if you're inhaling its crystal dust, 
but the same goes for literally any other crystal too. Always, always take proper precaution when doing any lapidary work. Kyanite is safe to be left in the sun for short periods of time. Extended exposure, like weeks on end, may cause the color to fade a little bit. Kyanite is extremely common and accessible, especially in its raw blade form like this. However, because of its directional hardness, it's really difficult to cut, polish, especially facet. So beads, cabochons, or any type of super polished piece or a very gemmy piece may be a little bit more expensive. The uniquely colored kyanite, such as the orange or the green, may also be harder to find and a little bit pricier than the standard blue. But in general, kyanite is pretty affordable and accessible even when it comes to these more unique colors. You can find it in just about any crystal shop. When it comes to fakes, I really don't see any fake kyanite out there. I couldn't find any at all, actually, in my quick little search. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist, but I haven't personally seen it. Kyanite has quite a few identifiable features that make it pretty hard to fake, such as its splintery blades, its pearly luster, and its unique blue color. Kyanite is pretty common geologically, and it's really accessible on the crystal market, so there's just not a need for fakes. Kyanite is mostly associated with the throat and the third eye chakras, but it can help to bring all chakras into alignment. Kyanite is great for increasing psychic abilities, enhancing meditation, and aids in communication in both the physical and spiritual realms. Blue kyanite helps us to speak our personal truth and helps us to feel Feel understood and heard by those that we communicate with. Kyanite carries a strong high vibration that is great for dissolving energetic blockages. Kyanite connects the physical realm to the spiritual realm, allowing the energy between the two to flow. Kyanite embodies yin and yang energy and it's all about balance. It brings peace and relaxation, but also gets your life force energy flowing. Kyanite helps to bring about balance in all aspects of your life. Working with kyanite can help balance your emotions and bring you back into equilibrium if you're feeling too high or too low. Kyanite is a great stone to sleep with if you're looking to receive messages from the universe or to improve dream recall. It is the perfect stone for connecting with higher realms and your higher self. It can also help bring about lucid dreaming or astral projection. Kyanite promotes logical thinking that helps you to overcome a victim mindset and regain control of your life. It's a great stone to help you when you're feeling overwhelmed by life as it soothes anxiety and stress. It encourages self-reflection and personal growth. Kyanite helps us to gain knowledge and understanding of both ourselves and others. Working with Kyanite can help you become more open-minded and receptive to new perspectives and new ideas. It is great for creativity and problem solving. It allows us to release control so that we can go with the flow. Kyanite is similar to selenite where it actually doesn't need to be cleansed because it's not retaining any negative energy. While Kyanite has many spiritual and emotional benefits, it is also great for boosting overall physical health. Some crystals to pair kyanite with are kyanite and serpentine to promote spiritual growth, psychic ability, and connection to other realms. Kyanite and selenite cleanses energy and removes blockages. Kyanite and sodalite promotes logical thinking, communication, and speaking the truth. Kyanite and labradorite are perfect for a personal transformation and growth and are both great stones to meditate with. Kyanite and lapidolite are great for anxiety and stress relief, and kyanite and quartz balances energy, and clear quartz amplifies the properties of kyanite. So that's all I have for you today about Kyanite. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe learned something new. As always, I have my crystal shop linked down below. You can use code YouTube for a discount on any order at any time. I'll have all my other links such as my second channel also linked down below as always. Be sure to like the video if you liked the video, subscribe if you want to see more crystal videos, and comment any suggestions you have for crystals or topics for me to talk about. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.